The Saskatoon Catholic Cyber School is currently in a situation where it's trying to staff a sudden, unexpected growth. This growth is a result of the provincial government's decision to terminate its role as a provincial distance education provider. Each school division is discerning the best way to fill that distance education void. Some divisions have approached the Saskatoon Catholic Cyber School to provide distance education, which has created the need for additional staff. 85% of the current teaching staff is also staff members in one of our division's face-to-face -face high schools. Therefore, to staff a sudden growth in the same fashion would result in a problem for most of our face-to-face -face high schools, with them suddenly trying to backfill or hire staff to fill void left by the staff in the cyber school. So rather than calling this up people, we have decided to depart from our, our original decision to have the majority of our staff working in the face-to-face -face schools as well as the cyber school. The approach for staffing will be two-pronged. We will first poll our high school face-to-face -face students, to, teacher, excuse me, to see if there is an interest in teaching a night class at the cyber school. We've done that and found there's a very large interest in that. However, we are finding some resistance to a teachers' ability to teach more than 100% in their face-to-face -face school. So we'll have to reevaluate that. By terming the position as night class, we can hire a teacher over and above their 100% daily teaching position. The Saskatoon Catholic Cyber Classes are asynchronistic and are available to the students 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, which allows a teacher to put in their one hour of teaching excuse me, at any time of day. The second prong that will be used is to explore the possibility of using teachers who are currently teaching in, our, in other school divisions. This does raise some human resource issues such as credentials, accreditation, and provincial standards. The issue with the second prong is the speed in which a teacher can be cleared to teach, which makes it less appealing than the first. The speed in which the growth will impact us is very quick, and hence the need to get teachers in front of the students will need to be quick will need to be quickly resolved. This is an ongoing issue, and we're still working at the best way in order to make this happen. And in the future, I will keep you posted as to what we found was the best approach.